Hi and welcome. Today we're going to do a very easy invitation card. Okay, we're going to use an embossing folder, and I'm only I actually use these for my daughter's wedding, which got postponed a couple of times, all due to COVID. But anyway, it happens in the end. So this has made a lot of invitations. I'm going to show you the sort of end result first of all, more or less. Can you see how effective that is? So. What I'm going to do is show you on some other card that I've got here now. So these are pre-cut cards, you know, that come with the envelopes, but, you know, you can sort of do, do your own thing, whatever. All we're going to do for this is, I've got three different ones. We're going to run them, three different ones through. Here's just an old bit of um, cornflake packet just to show how effective it is, isn't it? Um, how embossing works and really effective card so it can be for any card you want so where you've got your card all you're going to do okay is then i think it's the texture side should be on the outside i think um turn this in to the middle if you're not planning to use um already pre-cut cards with the envelopes don't worry just make your own and turn it round pop that through there Again, take that so it gives it a nice neat edge. So then you've instantly got this, okay? So, yeah, and we're just going to run that through that simple. So, if I now just do it again, just turn it in turn it round in. Okay, you've got that mark in the background um, from the original card i don't think it affects the overall effect let's just do it again with this one turn it in this one this this is navy but i think it's actually um because when i've used this on embossing sometimes it sort of shows the color through a bit so whether it's coated card it might be actually i'm not sure but i often buy these cards and things when they're on offer you know, like hobby craft in different places. Can you sort of see when it sort of breaks up just a little bit, you just get like the white bit. So anyway, so really simply done. Yeah, so that's how, how we're doing it there. Now I'm just going to show you popping them through the embossing folder. Like I said, I told you it's going to be quick. So you need your big shot or whatever you use. And all you need is the base plate, this little one, one of the clear which they always get messy and I actually cracked one a little while ago that's not the end of the world now all you're going to do with this embossing folder that I'm going to use I'm taking that out I think they are stuck in normally but for whatever reason maybe it's because I made so many that become loose but it doesn't matter so that's that and all we're now doing usually or just a tip if you're embossing you tend to put it through with the seam first but because I only want to take it up to here I'll do it the other way around so all you then do, okay, is pop that in. I actually want it so it's slightly over the half. But you can, you know, you can work out a line exactly where you want it. Okay, so pop it in there, cut, shut it down. So you've got to make sure it's nice and straight. Simple as that. Pop it in there. Put that on the top. I don't want to move on the top shouldn't have moved then through we go always a bit tough through and i tend to do it back again but look at the effect it's now going to be i hope it's nice and level i think when i were me and my husband were doing a bit like a conveyor belt when we were making it before look at that is that or is that not really effective so you've got it all the way through the card yeah Okay, you have got that, you know, if you, uh, that's not the end of the world. So let me just do you a couple more to see, so you can see the effect, how easy these are done. So again, I'm just lining up, so it's sort of coming more or less, um, obviously, that's, that's got, I had that butterfly in there. If you've got one of these or whatever, or whatever embossing folder you're using, you know, you can do the whole card if you want. I, I just like the idea of the half because we actually, when we made them, we then put raffia around. 
sort of bit of a sort of country wedding and that sort of worked out really well anyway through we go and back again like I say, my husband and I, when we, and um, for my daughter's wedding, to be fair, they were made long before because it got cancelled twice because of COVID. Again, look at that. You know, like this textured, textured card. It's quite effective, isn't it? Just like that. Okay, the butterfly's upside down there. Um, so, I mean, to be fair, you could have, the, you know, that design round. But anyway, they go, and obviously it meets and sort of matches really quite lovely. So, um I think actually um, the butterfly was always done upside down because I think that's the design. Let's just do one more and then I'm just going to put some ribbon round and you can see, again, if you can see, pop that there. Make sure it's straight where you want it. And get the, through we go. move this out of the way I can actually have my my chair then Oops, I tend to put these the other side I'm, I'm out of my routine so then again look at that is that or is that not really effective then you just have your coordinating invitation inside so whether it's a wedding invitation or not and so if you then wanting to just to sort of make it a little bit different i did say i was popping on and doing quite a quick one didn't i see so, i mean that's in the cream and this actually these were spare ones that were left over um can you see it's actually a pearlized card which is quite lovely so you can then for example be popping some i don't know where the end is with this hold on it's not going to be really muddy now because I'm going to take this off and it'll be going everywhere won't it? anyway so if you were then going to put just let's just say we were going to do this with a ribbon look how easy this is to do you'd cut you'd cut your length of ribbon for whatever size you want yeah and then that would be going on the back here. Hopefully I've left enough to tie it off. And you could, what I want to show you, just by putting the ribbons exactly the same both sides, so it doesn't matter, pop some, this is just double-sided. It's actually a material one, but you know, you use whatever you've got. I'm trying to use this up actually. So I would then be popping this. Make sure it's in the right place. I have to use my sticky scissors. Sorry, it's moved on me a bit harder. This is always harder to do under the camera. Okay, so now you're popping this then. Just come off the side there a bit. I'm not making this that ideal. Hold on. I'm just going to take that off there so I don't. So. You just line that up with the lines you've already got, okay, like so. Turn it over, and then you've already got a piece on this side, and you've got a piece, hopefully, see I've put quite a bit on there, so I don't need all that, so let's get rid of it. Then we have that, that side. Now, when, I mean, you can make this much more elaborate, but I always have that idea that less is more. But look at that. And then you could then 
tie it with a pretty little bow or whatever. You might not cut enough now to do this. I'd probably put a bit more ribbon so then you get a prettier bow. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I probably could have done with a bit more ribbon to make that more of a bow. But anyway, let's just see what we can get. Like I say, stuck on there, stuck on there. And you'd tighten that up in such a way. If you wanted to, you know, do some more flowers on there, you could make it a bit more elaborate. But there you have a basically simple, but I think very effective card. If you wanted to, you could just do this as ribbon. For example, now, using a much thicker bit of ribbon, which you could do, let me just show you quickly here. And um, oh, another one, there's a new one that's got its edge on. Sell the tape on, sorry. So, for example, I'm going to cut this off. What you could do, you could again um, just loop this round your card. Just say we were doing it on this one. And you could stick a little bow on there, loop it together in such a way. Um, oh, hang on. I've done too much of this. Same sort of principle. And then stick it on there and you could put a little bow on there couldn't you on the side so that would then if you imagine if that was stuck that would just <laughs> pull off wouldn't it so yes yeah, so it might be a little um hold the card in place and then you'd open up and read whatever's in there anyway hope you like just just an idea at the end of the day so have a look through your embossing folder see what you've got maybe that next party wedding or something's coming up and you can just throw a few of these together quite happily. All the best till next time. If you do like what you see, please leave me a comment or what you'd like to see. And um, till the next time, thank you very much. Bye.